everyone, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James, and today we're out at the lake, and we've got the awesome addition to the Hang Long lineup. They're not all tanks. Uh, Hang Long has one boat option for us, and it's this 600 millimeter uh, tugboat that you see before you. Pretty cool. Taking it out of the box, you're going to see it's uh, it's boxed nicely, and for the price this thing sells at, I'm really shocked with all the scale detail that you're getting, and and the functionality of it as well. So uh, as you see, again, when you take it out, you're going to have a few bits. All the tires that you see around it and all the uh, the chain that hold the tires around the tugboat, they all come in a bag and they're real rubber, uh, which is cool. You've got a working water cannon on top, which uh, as you can see here, you just have to attach the hoses when you clip in the top unit into the, into the base, very simply. Um, and then you got a lot of other working features around. So you do have like a crane. Again, it doesn't. The crane doesn't work with the with the transmitter or anything. And then you do have um, some nice scale detail. Like they even have some rope um, on the front, like real rope in there. Some good scale detail for what this thing is. Now, as far as what comes with it, again, this is ready to run. So when you pull it out, what I love is you get your transmitter. They also supply you with a nine volt battery in the box. So you were able to, you don't have to add AA batteries to get your transmitter going. They supply you with a battery, which you take, which is under the hatch right here. You take it off and the battery will fit nice and snug right in there. It's a lithium ion pack, which is great. And again, very simple. You should get a lot of runtime on this, and I'm excited to just see how the uh, water cannon function because it says in the details, you know, you could fight fake fires or you could just spray your friends. So, Alex, you might get wet behind the camera. <laughs> I'm going to give it a shot there, but let's take it for a little drive and then, uh, yeah, and then we'll wrap this up. Right, guys so that was just some footage of it driving around and again you see she looks pretty cool when she's riding around the lake and the spray function itself is actually really awesome that works well now just some tips and tricks um the manual says when you place the boat well firstly when you plug in your battery you'll see there's no on and off switch there is a little button on the inside and we'll get a close-up um, that you'll see the lights turn on and off when you press it now that gets pressed down when you put your canopy on and then the boat itself will only function like right now nothing's gonna work on the boat until you place it in the water there's like a sensor in there and get it in there and now importantly too when you push the um the spray water button at the very beginning when you first put it in the water you're gonna hear it and nothing's gonna happen it's sucking up water and that also helps to keep the boat from capsizing so you don't want to drive off right away like if you're at a lake like i am too far away if it capsizes and you don't have a boat to go get it um, you'll be waiting for the wind to push it to the side but what you want to do is wait a good minute let the water start spraying it took us about a minute of that thing running till the water finally started spraying and then you know that there's enough because all that water just gets held inside the boat and that's what helps keeps the boat um, upright and not falling over and then just some other tips and tricks on the back there's a little red plug and you would have put this in when you uh when you assemble the model there is a screw in there and that's helped there's a it's a flathead screw plastic screw that you would use a screwdriver in there and you could trim the boat um so if the boat's not driving straight right off the right off the bat you could trim it that way and then it only fits one way and it plugs right back in and then there is a little tab back here that you can pull and plug and uh just drain out any excess water as you see there so that's like your little uh 
stopgap, but really cool. I mean, the, the whole functionality, like that scale back there, how the, uh, the screw is inside the rudder control. I really love how that works. And it feels, from what it feels like driving, like you'll definitely be able to use this as a, uh, you know, as a, what's it called? As an actual tugboat for some of your bigger stuff, like some of our Bancraft boats, you know, might be out of scale to some of them, but uh, you know, you could tow those out and tug them out and then fight fake fires because that spray actually goes pretty far. Uh, as you can see, it was hitting me off the dock uh, with ease as it went by. And this can be twisted at the top. So you can have the water spray um, any direction you choose if you're at a show or anything like that. But all around really cool. And for the price, I believe it's about 129 right now. Um, definitely check it out at motionrc.com. Link is gonna be in the description down below. And guys, we'll be back with more boats, more cars, more planes. You'll see Wes, you'll see me, you'll see Alex, you'll see Lori. Uh, we're having a good time at the Motion RC, our Motion RC YouTube channel. And uh, we thank you all for watching. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.